Los Angeles for decades has given birth to a range of superstar musical talent. The small club scene in Los Angeles has helped nurture and hone those looking to break in to the music industry. Depending on the club, you can hear indie rock, heavy metal, pop, soul, funk, and techno depending on the night of the week. The musical styles have changed over the years, but you can hear a variety of music because these clubs give musical talent a chance to be noticed. The Troubadour is a, is a standard. It's a standard bearer of the Hollywood scene. The Troubadour, the Roxy, the Whiskey are places where it all began. Everything we know about rock started there. These music venues are some of the most well-known in the world. If pop music is your religion, then this is your mecca. In Los Angeles, where you typically need a car to go anywhere, these clubs along and near the famed Sunset Strip is a welcome experience. Glamour and Glitz came to the Strip in the 1930s and 40s as a trio of legendary clubs like Ciro's, the Macombo, and the Trocadero offered the movie industry a place to party. These historic nightclubs are gone now, but the Strip itself has remained a popular night spot throughout the decades, with new clubs replacing the posh clubs of the past. For any rock and roll fan, there might not be a better destination in the world than the Sunset Strip. There's a reason, maybe other than the band, to go, because you want to see that person play at the Roxy Theater, or you want to see that band play at the Whiskey, because you, so many bands have played in the past. The Whiskey A Go Go is known the world over. Since it opened in 1964, this legendary temple of rock and roll has been home to a who's who of popular music. And it's a, it's a good opportunity, you know, it was uh, one of those things that I would always see like on MTV or something or on TV and you would hear about Guns N' Roses and this is where they got their star. So just to come here and play was, you know, like one of those things like, man, we're playing the whiskey. Groups like The Doors, The Birds, and Buffalo Springfield have all played as a house band during the 1960s. In the 1970s, the likes of Led Zeppelin, Cream, and Traffic all performed at the club. In the early 80s, bands like Van Halen, Guns N' Roses, and X launched their careers at the Whiskey. From rock, to punk, to heavy metal, the Whiskey O Go Go has stood at the forefront of many musical trends. The Roxy Theater is another famous nightclub. Neil Young and the Santa Monica Flyers were the first band to play at the Roxy when it opened in 1973. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Springsteen the Hundreds of famous acts such as Bruce Springsteen, Nirvana, Bob Marley, David Bowie, and Amy Winehouse have all played at this legendary venue. The Viper Room opened in 1993. It was originally partly owned by actor Johnny Depp. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers played the club's opening night. Sadly, the Viper Room will soon be no more, as its location will soon fall victim to redevelopment. For more than 50 years, the Troubadour has launched the careers of many important artists such as Elton John, The Eagles, Jackson Brown, and many others. And today, it's still happening. The Troubadour still showcases many up-and-coming artists and indie rock favorites. If you wanted to have that indie, that kind of street cred, you would play the Troubadour, which, not taking anything away from the Troubadour, it's just, I think that's what they're looking for when they play the Troubadour. Beyond the glamour of Hollywood and the Sunset Strip, there are other unique places to listen to new talent. This is what's special about West Hollywood, Silver Lake, or the Santa Monica area, where local artists hone their skills, develop their craft, and build grassroots support. Small clubs with tiny rooms that draw talented artists. It's, it's similar to what's going on in Silver Lake. Bands have an opportunity to play the Roxy, but sometimes they'd rather play in Silver Lake because it I don't know if it keeps it real or it keeps it um, um, independent. And there, there is a big movement out there right now of this independent compared to like mainstream. 
these sometimes crowded clubs are the favorite hangouts of local patrons who like their music hot and their beer cold and they are known to help a local band break into the spotlight like you know what i mean it doesn't really matter what band is playing there that matters very little because people will just go to that anyway because it's a fun night so you're you're just gonna have like a good crowd despite the sometimes gritty environment the crowds are filled with regulars and groups of friends these macro venues present different musical styles depending on what night of the week you stop by to have a pint with friends. Most clubs offer live music as many as 25 nights a month, with as many as four acts playing a night. With the amount of talent playing on these tiny stages, you're almost sure to see talented performers or bands on the rise. You will get noticed if you're either truly original, truly beautiful, melodic, blah, 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 or you have a, a, an original take on something that's already established. This is our town, and I love Hollywood. And I love, I love people in general, but I love Hollywood people, and when they all come to see you play and, and you do good for them and they love it, that's a great feeling, you know. Long considered the epicenter of the entertainment industry, this collection of Hollywood night spots and music clubs is legendary. One of the most vibrant and exciting night scenes anywhere. A playground for movie stars, rock stars, and entertainers for decades. Whether you come to listen to new music or rub elbows with the stars, the clubs of the Sunset Strip and West Hollywood and beyond are the place to be.